Hello, it's time for another day of pips. Let's place some dominoes. We'll start with easy as always. Let's let's start solving. All right, we need greater than two, so that's got to be the four. That's the only possibility there. So this is, I think, what needs to happen. We've got uh, less than two, which is a one. We've only got one remaining possibility there, which means this goes here and completes our two equivalence region, and that's that. All right, that was particularly straightforward, I think. Let's try medium, see how this one goes. Okay, we have an equivalence region with three, which means it'll be fives or threes. Then we've got an inequivalence. That's interesting. So we do have one, two, three, four, five, and six. We do have all of those possibilities. Actually, sorry, we have a five region that requires a single five. So our fives cannot be equivalent, which means our equivalences will be threes and those will be pointing up. Okay. So look how many fives we have in order to maintain the non-equivalence. We're going to want one of those fives pointing up into nowhere. One of them will be in the five, and then the last one will go into the into the non-equivalence. So I, I think this probably doesn't really particularly matter what we put where. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think this made very much difference. Oops. No, yeah, that's correct. I don't think this made, made very much difference. I think there would have been a few different orientations that would have worked for that. All right, that was the medium. Let's try hard, which has given me some difficulty the last few days. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I need to make this all fit in the screen. Okay, yikes. <laughs> um, uh, where do I start? We need a five, a single five up there. And we only have two, so we have two options for that. Could be the five zero pointing down into the zero region. Or it'll be pointing into the, it'll be pointing into the equals, which would need to be a two Let's see, one, two. Yeah, we do have enough twos to make, you know, twos going into that region all equivalent. Um, we also have a three region here, which is going to need a single domino. So that'll need to be two ones, a two and a zero, a double zero. Those are the only possibilities, but we do have all three of them. Right, okay. How do I get started with this? The three needs to point into the equivalence. That we can see. So it could be a double three because we do have enough threes to form that region. Or no, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. We need we would need six threes if that's true. To, oh, and look, we've got another double three down, another single three down there as well. Actually, so the threes, we don't have enough threes to make the equivalence region. No, we don't. Okay. So what could it be? It could be fours. Um, we have precisely enough fours to fill the equivalence. Um, in theory, we have enough ones, but I think if we use all the ones for that, I don't think we're going to be able to fill this three region down here. So I'm thinking it's fours that go into the equivalent. Oh no, but we need a four to go into a single four region as well. Okay, I'm probably miscounting something. Um, yeah, we only have five fours as well. Okay, interesting. I wish I could, I, one of the things I most I most desire in this game is the ability to sort these dominoes myself so I can try and keep track of these things. So what else do we have plenty of? Did I maybe I miscounted the threes? One, two, three, four, five. No, we just have exactly five threes. We don't have enough zeros for it. Twos? Yeah, we have six twos. No, that's still not enough. We would need seven twos to put five of them there because we have two more two regions. Okay, I, I'm missing something here. We do have, no, we do, we have seven twos. We have enough twos. We have seven twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, okay, that's correct. So I think it'll be twos that go in the five sized equivalence region and plus two more over there. So the double two definitely goes in the equivalence region for sure. And the six will need a six and a two pointing out into it. Okay. I don't know which way that goes yet, but I'm just going to put it in one of those ways. Um, 
that would necessitate a two and a five, which I don't think we have. So I think this is the incorrect orientation. But no, we do have a two and a five, actually. So I guess we could put that there for now. Um, and actually, yeah, that could work. It could the two five could go into the sixteen region as well, but we're we're not sure yet. Okay, if this was all, if this were all to be the case, I think we'd want the double two to go here and the two going into the three to go here. That feels plausible to me. Um, although, actually looking at this, now we've got that single five region and our only choice there is a five with a zero. I guess that could point down into the three and then a three could come out of that. No, that breaks this three region. That's not correct. Okay. Right. This might go there. And then, no, no, that's not possible either. Okay, I've made a mistake. Maybe the, maybe that's all wrong. Boy, this is a tough one. It's a tough because it's just hard to see forward far enough to, um, especially without being able to sort these dominoes. Okay, let's see. The 16, how do we... How do we comprise that? So we've got a six that's taken no matter what. We only have one six. So I'm just going to put that back in the grid just as a placeholder. I'll put it down this time just to remind myself it's different than last time. So the 16, I mean, it still could be... We only have... No, we're using both... Five. Okay, actually, it needs to be four fours, doesn't it? Because our two fives are already spoken for. I think we already only have two fives. So we can't put any... We can put neither fives nor sixes in the 16s, which means the highest digit is a four, and you'd need four of those to make 16. And how many fours do we have? We have five. Okay, so we've got a little... Oh, no, no, no. But one of them is spoken for in the four. So all fours will be accounted for already. Heck yeah. So this is why... See, so many of these, <laughs> these counts, these pip counts, are fully spoken for. I just don't really have any way to kind of sort the tiles to kind of visually remind myself of that, uh, which is frustrating. So, um, so we, yeah, so those are all spoken for. So one of the fours needs low things coming off of it, which we do have, you know, we could put, for instance, a four, three going there. I mean, there's so many different ways I could imagine doing all these things two going down into there, one. Oh, no, we don't have a one zero actually, do we? Okay, that's useful to see. We don't have a one zero, so this can't work this way. So maybe what we want is the two one here and a double zero here. Um, then we need a three going, I think we still want the want a three going into the two equivalence region here, and then maybe a two zero possibly, and then a one one going into the three, then a two coming out of the three. I don't know. We still need all these fours. We need a five. Five, I'm guessing, goes up into the two. Hope I'm not making the same mistake I did earlier. This would be a five going down into the zero and a double two to finish the two equivalents. No, then we still need a zero, which we don't have anymore. Yeah. All right. Sorry about this. I'm not doing very well. So maybe I want this zero two over here. And then we've got to figure out this, uh, these one ones here, three, two, 
and then yeah i guess i need some of these dominoes from down below to move up here into these overlapping threes not overlapping but these adjacent threes yeah i feel underweight on zeros because i put this here and now i want a zero and yeah we definitely don't even have enough of the same pip count to fill that equals over there right okay it's a tricky one today isn't it we need to preserve plenty of zeros. Do we have a five zero? Yeah, we do. When maybe a zero into two, do we have that? We do have that. All right. We know we just have a sixth, one six. It can't go this way because that creates an unfillable space. So that goes there, which means the equals, we need more twos. Maybe I'm wrong that the twos are the are what go in there, but I don't think anything else had a sufficient number of domino halves. So we, we only have this one five. Maybe this goes down into here and the two four goes here. No, that's wrong because now we can't fill this area. Yeah, that's wrong. Huh. Maybe this one still goes here, but the five, do we have a five, four? No, we just have that five, two. So I guess it goes, no, it doesn't go this way because we can't, can't fill that. Yeah, so this is just fundamentally wrong. Oh, goodness. This is my most inept solve ever, I think. Okay. Yeah, this is very tricky. I am finding this to be very tricky. So let's see, do we think, can we put this two four here? Let's just start from a totally different zone and see what happens. Um, and yeah, so the, in this case, two would need to go up into the zero. That would need to be the case. Would then, do we have a five zero? No, yeah, we do. So in theory, that could go here. And then we've got two twos here. I don't know if this is any better. Um, we still have one four, which maybe goes into the, no, that can't go into the threes. No, this is unfillable. Once again. So maybe four, three, double three. I think I already don't, I already don't have enough zeros. Well, maybe, maybe I do. If I put a double one here and a three, two here, Oops, what happened? Just dropped one. Um, the double zero would need to go here. Two, one, I guess. Yeah, I'm already gonna, gonna go over somewhere. Oh, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. This is so long, I'm sorry about this. Um, we don't have a zero one, so we can't go vertically here. That seems really key, doesn't it? I think that means we, maybe I need to just really focus on the zeros. I think that means I need to put the double zero here. The question is how to orient the other ones. I think I tried one, two last time. Can we try one, three this time and then two, four? Um, I don't know if that makes any difference. So we still, we now need both zero. I mean, here's a thing that I just, I didn't really take into account before. All four zeros are spoken for by our two, two cell zero total regions. 
which means I can't use any in this three over here, which I had been doing. So I think what that means, I think what that necessarily means is that it has this double one. Why, why do I keep, what is going on with this? My mouse seems to be acting up. I think that means that needs to go there, which I think means the three points into the two. I think this needs to be a two region. I don't think we have enough of anything else other than twos to fill a five large region. I, if that's if that's wrong, I'm going to feel like a complete idiot. So then we've got a one pointing into this, which I think can only be that because we need to save our zeros for up there. So now this three needs a one pointing out of it. I think I think everything I've said so far is correct. And that's going into the 16. It could be that or it could be vertically. So maybe I shouldn't put it in yet. Just don't, don't create unnecessary confusion. So now we also need, let's look at these, these zeros. We have a zero with a two coming out of it, which could go in theory left over here. Let's see if that works. Then we've got a six to the other, because it could go the other, it could go in a different place as well. This goes here, if, if that's true. We then need a five with a two, which we do not, no, we do have. Oh, darn. I want to not have things so I can disprove things. So now we still need twos around. Oh, that two five could have gone there as well, but it doesn't, it wouldn't work. Um, so we still need a two. We only have a double two. Yeah, see, this is wrong. This is wrong. So maybe the zero two goes this way. Does that make any difference? Now we have the other zero with a five on it. Um, I got five on it and it goes here. Uh, we then have a, we must then put a double two here. It looks then like we would have a two five here a double four here. This is feeling like I'm getting somewhere. We have the double threes here, a four three here. Yeah, finally. Oof. Oh, brutal. That was by far the longest I've ever taken on one of these by a considerable margin. I think that that might even have been longer than I've spent on an entire day of pips combined ever. I think that's probably true. Um, sorry about that. Uh, this one I found very tricky. Now, I mean, in retrospect, I see some principles I should have taken into account earlier, which is counting the zero halves. I should have done that right from the beginning. I mean, that was really what was critical about this puzzle is, is domino halves that were spoken for right from the beginning based on necessary bits of fill throughout the grid. And that's where I wish I could have sorted these, <laughs> sorted the dominoes. That would be incredibly helpful. Anyway, uh, there we have it. Those were the pips. Sorry, that one took so long. I'll probably be back tomorrow. We'll see. Bye for now.